Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can easily create layers in Photoshop. Many commands, like Fill, create layers from selections automatically when you use them. You can also create blank layers and then add content to them. To create a new blank layer, just click the New Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel. Now you could also select Layer from the menu bar, New, and then Layer, and it will do the same thing. But if you choose the former option, it creates a new layer with a default name instantly in the Layers panel. If you choose the latter option, as we see right here, you'll launch the New Layer dialog box. In this dialog box, you can type the name for the new layer in the Name text box, located right here. You can then set the color the layer will appear in the Layers panel using the Color drop-down, and that allows you to just visually differentiate that layer from other layers in the group. So we could choose red, for example. You use the Mode drop-down to set your desired blending mode. We'll leave that at normal right now. And also you can set the opacity of the layer. When you click OK, you'll create that new layer and you'll see that red that we added so that it's a very visual way to just identify that layer. To convert the background layer into a normal layer, first select the background layer down here at the bottom, and then go to Layer, and then New, and then Layer from Background from the menu bar. And that will launch the new layer dialog box as well, allowing you to name the layer and set additional options for it. When you click OK, you'll convert the background layer into the layer that you just created with the properties that you set. So we could just call this new layer for right now. And we'll click OK. Now, after you've converted it, you can also take a layer and convert it into the background layer. So to do this, you just select the layer that you want to convert. We'll just convert this one back. And then go up into the menu bar and select Layer again, and then New, and then Background from Layer. So it's just the opposite there. Now if you have so many layers that it's becoming difficult to track them, you can create what's called a layer group or a layer set in earlier versions into which you can group layers. A layer group or set is a collection of layers that you can expand and collapse to better organize the layers in your image. To create a new layer group or set, you can either click the Create New Group button or the New Layer Set button in versions prior to CS3 at the bottom of the Layers panel to create a new layer group or set with the default settings. That button is located right here. Give that a click and you'll see it says Group 1. But you could also select Layer from the menu bar and then go over to New and say New Group. Now if you do that, you'll launch the dialog box and here you can then type the name that you want to give to the layer group or set into the name text box. You could also choose a color as we did before with our new layer and you can change the mode and the opacity as we did before. When you're ready to create the new layer group or set, you just click OK to add that over into the Layers panel. Now, the set itself appears as a folder icon in the Layers panel. You'll see some that are already created in this image right here. We created this group 1 before, and now we have group 2. You can click the small arrow to the left of the folder icon to expand and collapse the layers within the layer set. So that'll show all of the information and all of the contents of that particular group or set, and you can expand or collapse it that way. 
Now to add any layers that you have already created to the grouper set, you just click and drag on the name of the layer in the layers panel and drop the layer below that group. The layer should appear slightly indented and below the group in the panel. Now if you want to remove a layer from the group, you just click and drag the layer above the group in the list and release it there. So you can move them around and organize it any way you want. And that will free it from the layer set and it should no longer appear indented. If we look back at this other image here, you'll see these various groups right here and the layers that are contained in them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.